You say DMZ, right? Hey, you all go to Genki Sushi. They have this DMZ sushi menu. That I was damn thrown off when I first saw that. <laughs> Should I also try to stop a car with my bare hands? <laughs> yeah. This is the Daily Ketchup. So for those of you who haven't heard or seen Sweet. the viral videos, there was a confrontation that happened on the at the Tuas checkpoint on the way to Malaysia. So basically, as we all know nowadays, trying to get to Malaysia is a long queue. Yeah. Oh my god! Beep, beep. Yeah, it took me three hours to get back in, and back this was just the JB side. Yeah. So basically, there was a very long queue, and then like. There's a red car and then there's a black car. So they've been queuing for a very long time. And then the video that went viral was a lady that was from the red car trying to like push and like obstruct the way of the black car yeah. to the yeah. extent where she plucked out the license plate and then hurled it at That's pretty strong. Huh? Yeah. No, I feel like she accidentally because she was like trying to get a grip, right? Like and then so. yeah, yeah. it was so clean. <laughs> what do you mean so clean? Like the, the pluck out, you know, it wasn't like in pieces or what. Right. There's this like um Rick and Morty little sketch, right? Where they basically had this like international, inter interdimensional TV. Then one of the shows, right, is car versus man. <laughs> and they just show the man versus the car. Right? Then the man like, oh, he hyped up like fucking warrior, right? Then the car just, bam! <laughs> <laughs> then, like, then after that, it shows the driver of the black car. Like he just comes out of the car. At first I thought he, he wanted to like fight them, you know? Yeah. Then. Wait, he can go GoPro on his head, right? No. The POV is just from the. No, the it's the dash cam. It's the car. Oh, dash okay, cam. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then, from the red car, there's a younger guy that comes out to start like pointing middle finger at him, and then thinking he did something, and then the driver of the black car just goes to pick up his license plate calmly and returns to his car. You know what's damn funny in that whole situation was that the the lady right looks so wild and like a bit irrational in a whole decision making process right trying to hold the car but then when the small guy comes out i think they assume it's the son right she suddenly very rational eh, don't la don't 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 be all this she was trying to like calm him down and i was like wow what was the decision making process in a yeah. head no no people need kids you know what i mean like <laughs> so, sometimes you think you're gonna live your life right then when a the kid comes along it, it wisens you up <laughs> You're like, have I been the asshole this whole time? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Like, there's something larger I need to live for now. <laughs> like, I look like Snoopy. <laughs> so basically, like, her whole family has been doxxed. Like, where they go to school, who yeah, they where she are, works their and age. All this. Yeah. Wait, they were on the causeway? The Tuas Bridge. So where, who does it fall under? Singapore or Malaysia? Malaysian authorities. Yeah. So the bridge belongs to Malaysia? No, they are, I think they crossed the- I think there's a half and half. Yeah, oh, oh, ooh. yeah it really is. Seen that line. You, you can actually <laughs> see the signs a... change. From like Singapore looking signs to Malaysian looking signs. You can signs. also look at the road. Singapore stop stop sweeping at that. No <laughs> way. <laughs> then the floor from black change to light green. The the quality of the road changes also. Really man? Mm. I thought once you there's some gantry or once you pass through then that is like it's the bridge. Neutral grounds. No, but the, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then someone must maintain neutral ground, ma. Yeah, yeah. So every time know? I watch, you know, like American movie, then like say like like Batman or what, then they bomb the bridges to prevent people from getting out or crossing over. Right? Batman begins. Yeah, I keep thinking like, what I can't. Are there bombs on our bridge? Oh my like god. Like you got some tai chi, right? Then you just pom 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 pom. Then the bridge then we There's just a unit here. that is specially to go and bomb that bridge from Singapore. Singapore? Mm. Oh. oh, to prevent people from coming to this side. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought we talked. This serious. is the first thing Singapore will do actually. Mm. Bomb the in bridge. Our so war the tanks can come in. Like. Mm. Or the bicycles. Because they learn from soldiers. our history, yeah? Mm. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I have an interesting tidbit about the demarcation line, but it's completely unrelated to this. No, no, no. It's related. Oh, okay, Let's remember. go. No, okay. North and South Korea. So they have like the DMZ, right? Then yeah. they used to have like a, a room where like the soldiers from like either side will go to negotiate. Mm -hmm. So then, if I'm not wrong, you can find pictures of this. Uh, that when like the soldier goes in, right? From the South Korean side, right? You will see he's like kind of leaning in. Behind him, he's holding the hand of another oh, yeah, soldier. Yeah, yeah. And then they're forming a chain out. Because there was once where they were having a negotiation and a North Korean guy just put the South Korean person into North Korea and he was just trapped there. Oh. So now they have to like form like a chain to like be careful when they talk. Why they don't just tie? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the a billet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how people want to do things. No, it's like the child leash. You, yeah. just like you, know, to you say DMZ, right? Hey, you all go to Genki Sushi. They have this DMZ sushi menu. That I was damn thrown off when I first saw that. Like, Where have I seen this before? That, huh? Korea? <laughs> but nice, right? It's the beef one, right? Uh, it's yeah. the <laughs> <special> <laughs> They're thinking like, wow, they have a special cuisine along that. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, but important change. Story. Yeah. I'm actually on the woman's side. I actually oh. saw the opposing vi- the video that went viral was the one that I just described, right? But I actually saw another video first where the black car actually kissed the red car. <laughs> and not in a good way, man. So Roman. Mm. Oh, mm. So sweet. The video continues when you see like the red car drive off, then she kind of like sticks her head out to like check the damage and all that kind of stuff. They refuse to like settle lah. They refuse to come down and settle or what then apparently was quite rude to them also, which is what triggered her. When, when the video first came out and then we saw that it was at the Singapore JB Causeway, right? The, the your first impression is like confirm this girl is Singaporean. Yeah lah, confirm. It feels la. like a fucking Singaporean thing to do, yeah. But, but <laughs> I was like, oh wait, she's not Singaporean. No. no. Vietnam. No, she's Malaysian. Oh. Singapore, <laughs> Malaysia. <laughs> what the fuck? But they both were Singaporean cars. Yeah, right. Like, oh, so raised in Singapore, like, like live in Singapore. Yeah, because like. I see the car plate is S also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, lah. Then, yeah, then everything makes sense. Like. Right, right. <laughs> it's just like, the Malaysians don't do this sort of thing, like, you know what I mean? We don't. Yeah, yeah you all stay in your car. Like, you yeah. bang bangs, like, a little bit, and then never mind. Yeah. yeah. But Singapore's like, no, pay me. Yeah, wow. I really fucking hate that. Eh. Like, I get that cars in Singapore are damn expensive, so sure. But, wow, at the end of the day, right, is the. Let it serve its purpose, right? But other than that, you can have small scratch here, little bump there, that kind of thing, right? Like, f*** it lah. It's no lah, so but much. when you pay the car, when you pay for the car, you'll feel differently, I think. Wow, I don't know, yeah. I just got into a car accident last week. You know the office, you I got one traffic light, right? I stopped there at the red light. Then from behind, BOOM! Then like, oh yeah. my God. then I stuck there for like 40 minutes. But were you okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why you do that, how small? Because you what don't mean, mean to Because I already know, right? Yeah. That was the first thing I checked. Nice. Did he? No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't know until he asked me whether I can pick him up to come to work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like have to ask one eh, cause if not how to fix. Yeah. No, then, no, she was basically talking about how like if you cannot accident, right, then you need to come out, you need to settle with the other person. Yeah. Then how do you settle it, right? Mm. If it's the other person's fault, do they like straight away volunteer to like, okay, what, take mm. down all the information? Actually, Who I'm not sure what? what to do, eh. Yeah. Because I actually hit someone else's car before. So like I pee plate right then I was just reversing lah then like he, blind spot or what lah I hit the, while reversing I hit the corner of his car then the car like got dent in mm. then mm. so but they were more experienced then they come and say okay let's just like exchange like information Con- they settle privately they bring to the garage then he just take a picture of the code and send to me lah mm. then I I also asked my mechanic lah on, on my end like is it worth it or not? It's the correct amount, you know, so I yeah. don't get cheated. Then I just give them. So then this time when I was on the receiving end, then I'm not sure what to do. I come out of the car, then the other guy say, oh, my, my girlfriend uh, drive into your, knock into your car. La. So it's not even him, it's the girlfriend mm-hmm. who was too scared to come out of the car even. Right. Yeah, then later on. Or he, maybe it was him, then he just used her. No, she was Wait, in the driver's okay. seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then she came out of the car. Then sh- straight away, I said like, I prefer se- settling like privately because my car also very old already. Ma. Then, I asked them to like, how about like you offer me a price lah? And then I, cause I, I, I don't know what to quote also. Yeah. yeah, then, but it did not look like a hundred dollar kind of damage lah. If you can throw up the photos, you can, but yeah. Anyway, so straight away, like he start like calling his, calling his dad. Yeah, then he's, well, I think if his dad was there, right, I would have gonna bully. But luckily the dad not there. So the dad just kind of instruct him. Then he, he tried to say like, oh, my car, like here look like it was like previously already scratched. Or like this exhaust pipe look like the, you look like you put on an extension. It's not supposed, not supposed to be there. Do you even have a driving license? Blah, blah, blah. Then like start, <gasps> yeah, start trying to like intimidate me. They you pass know, the phone like, to you. Ah. No, never. He talk, he talk. And after he come to talk to me. Then right. I say like, Please lah, my car 12 years, go to Vicom, no problem. Yeah. Then like, what you want to say? Then he, oh, like that. Then he, yeah, go, he said, okay, wait, you could defend yourself wait like then he yeah. go, and call, go and call again. Then call already, come back. Call, they're come not back. even there, he can expect your exhaust pipe. No, I think he, no, I think he really my right. exhaust pipe was stuck in his. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Yeah. It's some form of extension, but no, it is. No, I put one. I, I, had, I think I was in my dad uh, and, and he was in an accident, right? Car accident. And, like it's the other fella's fault and we were very clear with you on that day but because the damage was rather extensive to the point they decide okay like maybe we don't do this privately let's just go and claim insurance because every car in Singapore is the party insurance ma. Mm. and then the other guy was like ah, sorry yeah, and everything okay with you right then when we submitted that time right that guy changed his story wow. to say that it's our fault wait but your car behind or in front? Uh, we are the behind car <sighs> yeah but they reversed into us and they know it yeah, and they were apologetic on that day also. Right, right, right. Yeah, but then when they go there, right, they go and submit, then the insurance company fight or maybe he fight. 
and then turn until we lose then our insurance premium went up Right. Which is why it's very important when I texted you, yeah. which I did check on her, yes. <laughs> to to have some form of written agreement, <laughs> and then to also make a police report. So when I say like settle privately, yeah, then they say okay, we go and get the form. So in their car, right, they had a form. Huh? Form it's like a consent form that can fill up like my vehicle name, my name, my How like many NRIC. Do they, what, they keep do? banging people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I have received paid. I need to like delete some of the option. Receive oh. paid, how much? Then like put photo, I see here. Got dotted line, then we take picture. Maybe maybe we should get. Yeah, maybe they call the father because the father maybe deals with like uh, insurance. Or he won't be called. Like uh, oh, maybe. 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 But then both him and the girlfriend are like youngsters. Then can tell mm. they very apologetic. The girlfriend's super scared the whole time she don't even say a single word, right? Mm. She just say sorry lah. Then the whole time she just like very scared stand at the side. The boyfriend was the one that's talking to me. Actually the mom, I don't know whose mom it was lah, but the mom was also there. At first she very confrontational, but then I was like very chill about it. Then in the end, like she suddenly become very friendly. Then she tell me like, oh, actually we on the way to go and eat at Chinatown. You want to come with us? Like, no. no, but it, re- it really is like that. Especially the generation of my 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 father's generation, right? You go out and then you you try and assert that the blame is on someone else. Then if the other person cave, right, you save a lot of money. Like my, I had that mindset also. Like my father bang people also, right? He go outside, he damn angry. He will try and fight the person first. Then he see whether how that person is. Then that person damn clear whether push that over or not lah. Or rather, if sometimes that person also don't know, because in an accident, everybody muddle. Ma. Most of the time, it takes two parties to cause an accident. Right, right, right. Maybe you have breaking distance. Maybe I did kind to your lane. But you could have braked also. So from the moment he pull handbrake, take out seatbelt, open the door, he... This is the possible scenario that I can get out with the No, there was one point of time, right? Well, I don't know what I can say. There was one point of time, right? This one really not our fault one. We were going, but because the car was already a bit scratched up already. So... <laughs> when when we gonna fang my father looked at me right and he said good we claim the whole car then I said good then but then I like teenager level already right? I got go gym got a bit of shape already right so we all both open the door ah uh. we all fucking gangster we walk there and then because uh the fellow behind was a taxi driver so so we know taxi driver is ultra they f- know up whenever you bang them because yeah. they gonna claim income and and rental and everything not just repair their car mm-hmm. right so we damn gangster right we go downstairs and my father was like. Oh, you bang me, that kind of thing. Clearly it's an accident, why are you stupid question, right? Well, because we were there prepared for a fight, right? And we want to claim the whole car already, man. Because you get your own workshop, man. You can just tell them, we want to respray the whole thing, but the invoice, right, you respray the back. Mm. Then the taxi driver come out, right? Then he's like, he's straight away apologetic. Then my father and I will be sian, nah, because we were prepared to fight already, right? Then we see his car, right? His whole bonnet gonna bang inside, like, good one, eh? Then we look at our own, our vehicle, right? Really nothing, like there was a lot of scratches on the car, but he did not contribute. Then you pay him. <laughs> then we look at it, then he's like, he said, can can I just give you $50, then we swat this or not? Then we look at the driver, we look at his car, and okay, we okay, just take the 50 bucks. <laughs> what the fire is going to fight? The whole, his whole bonnet go inside. Yeah. The, the two times I've been involved in car accidents, it was my fault. La, and I've been <laughs> damn lucky because I was super apologetic. So the first one was like, like literally two months after I got my license, car park right then it's like a u-turn like that unfortunately i wanted to come back i didn't realize there was a car behind me so i reversed right into that person's door but right. i straight away like come out and i was like i'm so sorry like i really didn't realize i look at the door right the whole thing like really went in you know <laughs> oh, like if there was a person sitting there right confirmed they would feel a bit of a nudge kind of thing and then she just came out and said it's okay lah like Livia, and she was a young girl so singapore huh? no no in malaysia oh. and she was just like Cause it, they're car free. It's okay. <laughs> no, Probably it was like, stolen. <laughs> is it what? <laughs> <laughs> then never mind. Yeah. So I, I thought in my huh? head I would play the scenario out because I remember that when my mom got into an accident before, they would come down, they would talk for half an hour, they yeah. would discuss like yeah. contact details, bang, and also I, I was prepared for all this. Okay, I remember. So I came up and said, I'm so sorry, and then, like you know, like do, do, what, what do you need from me? Do you need my like like details or whatever? And then she just like, she she looked at me, she saw me, and she just went, never mind lah. And I was just like, I. Are you sure? She's like, yeah, yeah, never mind. Then she bring out her plunger. Then she <laughs> <laughs> DIY. No, but I was so like in shock, right? That I needed to park and go for dinner at that mall. Right? I just, I just drove off. Yeah. I just went home and I was just like, I can't believe what just happened. Maybe, maybe she was even, she was in even more shock. She was like, oh my god, Dan from Daily Catch Up. <laughs> Except that this was like, like twelve years ago. Uh. Then like, Dan from eventually from the Daily Catch Up. <laughs> The second one was, was, was more recent. So like um we were at this like shop, right, in Malaysia also, and it's the parking is like a it's a house, it's a bungalow, but it's a shop. So the parking is really just at the doorway, the gateway. 
I needed to, to reverse oh, yo, how do I throw it I need to reverse like <laughs> this right uh. but I didn't realise how close this car was to me so oh. I scraped like that a little bit and that was an expensive car it was like a very nice Volkswagen and I came out and then the guy was sitting he's the kind that got driver and then he got bodyguard and then he's mm. sitting at the back and I came out and I was just like I, I'm, I'm so sorry like like, <laughs> le- like let me know what you need right I got you covered like, like just let me know how much all this and after he just came out and went I just sent this to the workshop <laughs> Then he's like, okay, okay, let me take a look. Then after he looked at me, then I'm like, yeah, yeah, please, please, I'm really sorry. And you know, in my anxious like self, right? Then he's just like, never mind, lah. Never mind, never mind. You, you, it's okay. And it was you really quite bad. Be, you practice You must look pretty poor, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I really like, think so. I think I'll take his last dollar from you. Or your car must be very, very jealous. Not it wasn't Tella. <laughs> yeah, Ross Rice. Yeah. Ross Rice coming. Maybe he <laughs> drove the Lambos. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, uh, I don't fuck this guy. <laughs> no, but I was scared because he had a like straight after that happened, right? His body got all come out, you know. Right. Uh, then like even I even more like oh like like. Yeah, really yeah. sorry. Then he's like, hey, TMJ. Never mind. The bodyguards help you look better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so, so. <laughs> I think so, so. Okay, so if we kind of draw that back to this incident, right? Essentially, the misunderstanding was that one end don't want to settle. Is it either end one or settle? Right. Yeah. Then oh, I see. So sh- the 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 other car bang into her car, but wants to continue driving. So she just wants to stop him, so that she can get a settlement. Ayo. No, but allegedly he actually came out and wanted to get settlement. But then the red car started hurling vulgarity, so he just like never oh. mind. Then he go back into his car. There was a bit of a misunderstanding there, lah. And I wonder, like, I mean, in both of our situations, I think that like, we were all very sorry about it, right? And then it turned out way better. My dad so was not. But the taxi driver was. But the taxi driver yeah, was, see? Driver. Yeah, so is it party. just how confrontational they are? It kind of reminds me of the 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 PMV rider that. that, that <laughs> uh-huh. Then like the road, you, eh? Yeah, you just come up, like, you just, no one looks good on a dash cam. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, because the driver is not there, it's just, you just look like an asshole trying to block everybody's. Plus, it's editor, you don't see what happened before that. You yeah. don't have the context. And they cut out the audio, probably. Yeah. But the the level to which she escalated the performance, right? Yeah. The drama, right? Wow. The I, m- yeah. Way too much, like, no, way too that, much. Do you see the pictures that she posted of, like, her thighs, like, all scraped, like, got. Mm. Quite a bit of scratches. But who asked her to go and do this to the car? Yes, yeah. Like the memes were honestly quite funny. The the Spider Man two one with the trick, I burst. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then she <laughs> turned around like some superhero yeah. profile. Like, funny. Or there was one more. So so like girls in Korea, Japan, like they pose in front of the supercars <laughs> and they got her. <laughs> <laughs> She sure. couldn't stop the car, but I'll stop you right here. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying what you're watching. And we'll go back to the episode right now. So in this case, like if it has escalated to that, right? You as the driver of the black car, how would you what what is the solution? I think because I langa the the other car, right? But it was not a bad. Like it was like really like key. Either way, either way, Oh should sorry, be... it's also because neither of them wanted to give way. But yeah. in the causeway is like that though. Yeah. Mm. The red car say tensions are high. Mm. Yeah. The red car say that it's because they see like from behind they see that the black car has been trying to cut 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 so they yeah. purposely don't want to give way. Then the black car say they only hit because red car don't want to give I, way. I I I also that on the causeway yeah. yeah. I really I I cannot tailgate one, but I risk it all to tailgate. Yeah. On the causeway because there is there's the car lane and then there's the bus lane and then the car lane really takes some time, but the people will just drive on the bus lane right in good faith, that. You Someone will them, give them yeah. ah, and wow, it's like you disrespect everybody's forty-five minutes to one hour because why you you in a bigger rush and your time is more precious than mine. Mm, mm. I don't just don't let you go in. I get them irritated with the car in front of me. Let you go in. Yeah, yeah. But I think she took out my license, like she peeled off my license plate, right? Wow, that's the end, yeah. Also, how impressive was it that the number plate hit the windscreen? And windscreen, not a single. Like crack or like then this whole thing is a Honda ad or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's Toyota. I think. Uh. <laughs> Do you know the glass they use for the windscreen and the rest is all not the same? Harder. Uh. Windscreen is a lot stronger, and then the back window, right, is designed to be able to be kicked out by your foot. So, so that I can escape if I'm kidnapped. So, so that if you're stuck in the, car, in the right. water, yeah. Okay, Have you ever tried punching underwater? Like, how is it possible that I can kick out the? Yeah. No, but your car yeah. don't have water yet, lah. So oh. when it's still like filling up, also my no 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 no, but the pressure right outside though. Yeah, that that that. Ay, random random life hack. Yeah, I mean, let's go. But uh, yeah, it's not it's not that. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, might not say it. It's very common. You have to wait for the car to fill up with water first before you start kicking. <gasps> yeah. What? If not, if not, you cannot open the door. But I cannot breathe hard. But I cannot punch underwater. No, you. So you you use your leg and you kick out. 
the glass at the back is designed to be able to be possible mm. to kick out from the inside. Mm. Then mm. then a bunch of people <laughs> try. <laughs> try and then actually yeah. they try go out from the front. <laughs> Better get that right. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, really that's right. Kena yeah, oh no, or the other way is that they say you take out the hit rest. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Then got the two things. Ah, right. okay, okay. Ah, they're on, they're on, they're on legit, that's they're great. When people say the shot comes to you, you have to punch it also. Like, okay. Like no, just but have you not have ah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to like that and slowly guide it away. But anyway, so basically there's also this incident that happened recently at like Bona Vista and MRT where a couple was like sitting down live streaming on Twitch and then there was a older lady wearing like a full like face mask like like Maybe she's damn young, you wouldn't know though. Which is like 14. No, I look at her skin. So <laughs> like, <laughs> on her legs, I mean. Oh. So, then, so basically she came over and started saying like, you cannot sit here, you cannot eat here. To, and it escalated to where she kicked their food. Yeah. Oh yeah. So God. then after the, that- The biggest story here is that Dan didn't see this video. I really haven't. And like, you're talking about face masks, like those like- The really? white color, yeah. Huh? yeah. It was damn scary, dude. The first time I saw it, it was damn scary. And, she, and she purposely wear glasses to keep it in place, eh. <laughs> No, she needs to see as she do her yeah, mask. Yeah, she needs she to see you, <laughs> John. <laughs> you think she just want to keep the no, mask? But the she go. needs to see. Yeah, so after that, she kept. they called the police. And then after that, she kept trying to like instigate them. Like she keep walking up to the guy. And then like the guy was like filming her. Like, and then another like lady passerby came mm. and helped to like kind of restrain her. But then when she got like, she eventually ended, it eventually ended up having it eventually ended up with her getting pinned down to the ground. And then she started making some high-pitched screaming noises. Like the bird, like the cool bird. Yeah. At that point, it got a bit sad. The thing is that we only know this because she happened to confront streamers. Imagine how many times she's done this to like just random people. It's true. And, and I think these are the kind of situations, right? That most of the time when you are there, right? You just be like, sorry, sorry, then you go. Yeah. Then, then on your drive home or on your commute home, right? Then you start thinking, I should have come here. Yeah, yeah, I should yeah. have said it, I should have said that. But no, nobody can prepare you for such a situation. Eh? It's like, you, I don't care how garang you bloody think you are. Yeah. You will be like, oh, sorry. Because you, you just don't want to mess with her. Ma. <laughs> She's so scary. It's in the middle of the night. Eh. Sometimes, like, you see people smoking at the park. Then you're quite sad, right? It's a park, everybody exercising, then you're smoking. But you just mind your own business most of the time. Ah. But then there's always this person that will go and, do you know you cannot smoke in the park anymore? Throw it away now. You know, they, they don't want to say it in a nice way where you'd be like, okay, sorry, I throw. You know, they will say, throw it away now. And then, I mean, you feel like if you do it, you feel like a dog. Yeah. Now, now I must f you already. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, going no back choice. to talking about communication yeah. on the internet again, you can just say, like, hey, sorry, can you not? Because people are trying to exercise. But you no. Know, yeah. Throw it away now. You're not allowed to do that. She uh, just do do you want me to call the police? Like, instant come with a threat on your first sentence, right? Now you have to f*** that person. But her weakness was that she was wearing that mask. <laughs> if she never wear the mask, right, people have taken her a lot more seriously. Then it's just, you are just Karen. No, but her weakness is also that she kicked the food. Also. <laughs> <laughs> but it might not have escalated to that level, you know? Yeah. Mm. If she was like, do you know you're not allowed to see her? Okay, stand up, leave. But I do want to say, you got to prepare one. You got to mentally prepare for your confrontations. Then just, you got to learn. Just come up with the most random scenario uh, in your head, right? and in your then go, head. what would I do in this situation? Like, ask yourself now, what would you do in this situation? You think it's damn funny, right? What would you do? Strip. You know how brother that <laughs> the girlfriend is or not? Do you know? I don't the, know. Uh, you didn't watch the video. So the, oh. the girlfriend even, bam, swing the lady at the back one time. Slap, uh. slap her. Uh, and that video still got posted there. Eh. Wow. Yeah. And got support, wow. which is... At that point, nobody really knows whether this lady has a condition. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at, at this point, we also don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's just, but when swing that time, you think, wow, this girl and brother. Because the guy was trying to be chill. He's mm. like, why cannot? Why cannot? I never eat what? I never smoke what? You know, that kind of thing. The, all the way until the lady kept following, right? Then the girlfriend, the moment the girlfriend stand up, right? He's like, what? What? Call police, ah? <laughs> she immediately went gangster mode, which is damn solid. Then she palm the lady in the back one time, which you thought, okay, power so. Then she started singing. Then you know, like, ah, f no, no, but in the first place, like, she's so small and frail. No, no, then no fine problem. Ah. No, no, but she also, maybe she don't have a choice. She don't have a choice. Maybe she's just not as in control of yeah. her behavior. Yeah, yeah. So, like, but but piano, like, this kind, you don't have the right support system or whatever, and you are, you are out there alone. And like, yeah. Yeah, right? I'll just walk but away. Do you have a choice? It, I mean, she's probably lucky, right? That she never gonna like some abing or whatever. They just fucking slash her, you know? Mm. Yeah. Like shakes, yeah. You can have one random dude. At least they cannot like that. Now she go to some facility, whatever, like, right? Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. But, wow. Oh, but I feel like, like this not, life. Not enough people are equipped with like conflict <laughs> de-escalation, like techniques, you know? Okay, so now you demonstrate the I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> 
Oh my god, I'm so I'm so sorry. I I really am so No, you pay me five thousand so dollars, you bank my car, I don't care. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me being super agreeable, then they go, oh, okay, never mind. What if it's not your fault though? Oh, that different. <laughs> mm. Actually I've never been in that situation. <laughs> but in your mind Like what if you're out with Ned, right? And yeah. then some guy like like bump into her and she fall on the ground that kind. Then after that then when like Oh, turn like around walking, right walking. then he like what the f*** are you doing what you want you know this one of the situations right whereby you were under do then on the drive back right think wow next time I'm gonna punch the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> yeah no but I feel like I'm such um, like I, I, I'm so averse to conflict that mm. I would straight away be the chill one and then I think if someone else was like involved or like Ned was hurt or whatever then I feel like I need to definitely like make them know that that was not okay but I think I'll do it calmly lah Mm. I feel. I hope you need time to ex- to escalate. escalate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I feel like I cannot do two things at once. Eh? If the person just like turn around and like shout at us, but w- continue walking, right? I'll just check whether my friend okay or not, lah. Yeah. Then, like I have over prepared before, or... cause like in young time I always like prepare for confrontations. Cause there's many periods of my early life where I feel like I regret not doing something about mm. it. Mm. Then there was one time where I think my family was taking a bus up to Malaysia, and then it was very packed at the you know the on foot immigration. Yeah. And he was pushing and my mom's legs, not great, right? And someone pushed her or something and until to the point she almost fell. And then I, wow, I super, now that I think about it, I super overreacted. I screamed so, I shout so damn loud, right? And I lunged over at that person and I like crowd surfed on top, eh. Crowd surfed? As in, he was too far, lah. Right. Yeah, but I used the pole, I stand up there, I just shout at him and I just point at him, right? And I was like leaning on people. Yeah, to the point where the, the police officers came out. Then, like my mom got a bit, Stun. Uh. <laughs> Surprise lah, uh, to say the least. She's like, whoa. Oh, I joke of balls, huh? Yeah, but I think I've overprepared. Right. Yeah. Right. Then, then what did the person do? Quiet lah. I'm so sorry. I was damn loud. I'm so sorry. I was damn loud because if I want to shout, like I talk already so loud, imagine if I shout. Right, right. Like, at least for me, I feel like, for, again with Ned, right? I feel like if I got into a fight because of her, she also wouldn't be happy with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you got to kind of like balance out a bit. I saw this TikTok about this coach teaching his fighters like some of the most important skills that you can learn. Um, after being a fighter, which is like, for example, you go to a bar and a man asks you, what are you staring at? Then what, what do you say? How handsome you are. Your hair, bro. Yeah, I yeah. love it. Oh, the <laughs> throw them you? off type. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, are you looking at my girl? And it's like, yeah, she really looks like my, 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 my younger sister, which I lost last year. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Like, these are the more important life skills that you learn outside of the gym. Survive, uh, survive. Yeah. So if the lady comes up to you and say, here cannot eat, <laughs> what would you do? Show me where. where uh. Tough, uh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> or even, even a JB one also very tough. What are you going to do? The guy scratch your car, then he don't want to... Yeah, but I think, right, like, it, it took two people of that same mentality, right, for the incident to have happened in the first yeah, yeah, place. Yeah. If one of them was chill... Like, a girl standing in front of a car, you still... You still yeah. Tap the accelerator. It's a bit ah, much. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't have the balls to tap the accelerator, I think. Same. I really don't know. So. I don't even have the balls to stop it. Eh? <laughs> I'll fuck it, eh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, to get sweaty. If it's a sedan, <laughs> right? You can lean yeah. forward. Eh. I'm like, I'll fuck it. There's no way. Eh. I'm gonna get dragged under. Si, ah. It's a cliff. Your hands are so Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you have better solutions on how to co- solve confrontations, please yeah, let us what know. What would you do if you were that streamer? Mm. Mm. Yes. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you in the next episode. Power Rangers! High five. Okay. <laughs> no time. It's nice to have a team or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off already. Oh, uh, nice, nice, nice. nice.